Hello everyone and welcome to Diamonds of Craft where I make things. My name is Sarah. Before I get into this video I just want to remind everyone that I am doing a fan art feature on this channel now. Uh, if you want to send in your fan art that you've made of any of the dolls that I've made, any of your attempts at the dolls that I've made, or any dolls inspired by mine, or anything like that, just send it to me on Instagram uh, in a DM and you could be featured in the next video. For this video, it is my own sort of fan art situation. I am doing Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. I really love Johnny Depp and all of his characters that he's played and I thought I would make a doll of one of his most iconic ones. So let's get right into the video. For this doll I am using Hunter Huntsman again, though this time I will be using his head too. Of course we have to prep him by removing his clothes, cutting off his hair and removing his factory face. Then I had to get this blocking off his head. Acetone will help that come off nicely, though it was a big room. Once his head was clean, I moved right onto his body. There were some dark bits as this is a second hand doll and was well loved in a previous life. It needed a bit of sprucing. So I did his face very early on. I had a kick of inspiration to get it finished, so I decided to do that bit first. Now, never forget that I do not profess to be amazing at portrait dolls. I am going for Jack Sparrow as a character and not Johnny Depp playing him. He will look kind of like him, but my aim isn't to make a Johnny Depp doll. It can change from project to project. Sometimes you feel the clothes making first or accessories or the face. Sometimes you have to do the hair first, but I usually do that when I need to reroot in case the rerouting cracks the face up. I am gluing hair onto Captain Jack this time so his face comes first. I loved the fact he has this dark eye makeup. I had a great time shading all of that in before I got the eyes in there and I never usually do brown eyed dolls so this was even more fun for me. At the moment he's looking rather young and to be honest that doesn't change much. As the eyeshadow was so dark and the white pencils were not depositing enough pigment I painted the scleras in when I was happy with the irises. I know that eyes aren't as white as you think they are usually, but it helps make the eyes pop on artwork. Plus, he'll be getting shadows for where his eyelids and lashes cast them, so they'll be darker anyway. Now, a new experience for me was to add facial hair to the doll. <laughs> I have done male dolls before, but none of them had a grand stash or beard situation. So I just drew this on as best as I could. I could have added this with yarn or something, but I had far more control with the drawing. I can't even imagine the mess I'd have made if I'd have tried to glue on yarn for every bit of hair. Of course, the last thing to add is the little X on his face. As Captain Jack is a pirate of the Caribbean, he needed a sun-kissed glow on his face, which also needed to be applied to the rest of his body.
I didn't add yarn to the face, but the braids on his chin couldn't be added using pencil. To do this, I braided two tiny bits of yarn together and just glued that under the chin where they'd stick out. I blended the yarn hair part into the bit that I'd already drawn on and it looks okay. Next are his dreadlocks. I saw someone on Instagram do this. I just used warm water with dish soap, spread that soap on the yarn and rolled it together. I made enough to discard some if needed. Then he needed these braids and dreads to be decorated. I found as many beads and small things as possible to add to it to give it that pirate decoration. Then for this string of beads that don't seem to be added to hair, I just made that on a wire and glued that in place. I also decorated some of the dreads with embroidery thread, regular thread, beads and wire. Once that was done, I could carry on with the hair. There looked to be some parts of hair that weren't in dreads, so there were bits that just looked loose, so I glued those to a scalp. I curled those loose bits with my metal knitting needle and straighteners, being careful not to burn my fingers and I glued the dreadlocks all over. The glue wasn't really fast grabbing enough to keep them in place where I put them, so I did find them sliding around. I did make his bandana off camera. I used regular red cotton fabric and drew the pattern on with a fine tip pen. It was easier than trying to find a patterned red fabric. Here is how he looks with his hair and dreads in place. He does look like a young Jack Sparrow. There are some flashes of blonde in there as well. All of the reference pictures had some varying degrees of this and I guess it would be kind of bleached uh, from the sun. For the other accessories in his hair, like the bones I guess, I made those out of milliput and painted them the right colour. I made the long bone and string of bones and his little piece of eight to go on there and this will hang over the top of his bandana. I didn't want to spend too much time adding all of his tattoos to his body because they'd never be seen really. But I did want his pirate brand and the Jack Sparrow tattoo on his arm. I cut myself off before I finish that tattoo, but I do have it here after I made him some pants off camera. They're a bit long, but that's okay. So his clothes, he needed a waistcoat and I made it from this fabric I bought when I was making Lestat. I used Hunter's jacket pattern to make this so I know it fits and just added a bit extra to the bottom to make it longer. And that's it, no sleeves or anything needed. Then onto his shirt. He needed to have a drop shoulder and I think I could have made this better but I'm not in on the know-how of how to make certain types of shirt. <laughs> I just used the same technique I did with Lestat's fancy shirt. So this shirt is a bit too white and to rectify that I made a cup of tea. One for me, one for the shirt so I could dirty it up a little bit. I tried a little piece of the same fabric to see how it would go before I committed. But then the shirt took a nice tea bath and it turned out the colour I wanted near enough. Don't worry, this bowl of tea was not hot. When it dried it wasn't too dark but it wasn't bright white. 
I tried it on with the waistcoat and I'm happy with that. Now he has this little bit of fabric around his waist and to me it looks like a dish towel but I had nothing that resembled it so I just drew some lines on a long piece of fabric. I tried it with paint first but I couldn't get the lines straight enough. And the pens I used weren't fabric pens so they went everywhere. But it's all I had and it'll do. I did try and dip this in tea too, but I did this after I'd drawn on the lines and it went absolutely everywhere. I should have known, but that's okay, <laughs> I'm not mad about it or anything. So I just dragged a pastel over the top to dirty this up. And finally his coat. Again, I just had like no fabric that was perfect so I decided to dye this a darker colour. I should have done this before I cut it because it's kind of frayed now but it's okay. I cut the coat a little bigger because I needed to get his sleeves through it. The cuffs I thought would just be too hard to turn right side out so I made those separately and I sewed them on top like this. Then for extra detail, I used embroidery thread to make the buttonholes. I did this on the waistcoat too, off camera. And I added little rhinestones as buttons on the other side. It really turned this coat from boring to beautiful. I love the details on this. And here's what it looks like on the doll. All he needs now is accessories and there are a lot. First of all, he has like three big belts around him. I didn't have the buckles or the patience to make buckles that big for him. So my belts are a little thinner than Jack's actual ones. I did make the big belt buckle, but I bought the others. Then came the issue of his shoes. I had put these off for ages because I wasn't sure how to do them. I hate making shoes from scratch, so I decided to use what he had. When I scalpeled off the details and sanded those down, they looked like they were made of suede, but I had the suede that I wanted already, and I just glued that on top. Then just like the sleeve cuffs, I made the boot cuffs as a separate piece. Now Jack needs pistols and I wasn't about to make these myself. So I asked Will who kindly 3D printed some for me to paint and I just painted those. Adding the silver the same way as I did with my demon doll. I added some rings to his fingers. He also needs a hat and I just had to do this by myself. I looked up YouTube videos on how to make a tricorn hat and I did that all off camera. But again, the material that I had was a bit too light and I'd already dyed my coat and got rid of that dye so I just painted this. Finally, the last bits I need are a sword and his compass. I made these out of Sculpey, starting with the sword. I made two just in case one went badly and once they were baked and done, I shaped the sides down to make it sharp. I could have done this in the soft stage, but I was afraid I'd lose all the shape and it was just easier for me to do it when it was cured. Then his compass, I made a little too thick. It's all right, um, I did also try and make it so that it could open and it did for a bit, but then it broke unsurprisingly. All that's left to do is to paint those 
add some shine with the chrome powder to the blade and the handle and they're done. Here's what they look like all finished. I made him a sword, a little dagger with a holder and his compass. Off camera, I also gave him a shrunken head, a little bit of fur and the Aztec gold piece from the first film. And with that, he's all done. product I'm really happy with how he turned out as usual but to be fair this time there was a lot of elements that went into him that I wasn't expecting to put in there but here they are I'd be open to making a lot more Johnny Depp characters in the future because they're also wonderful and fantastic so of course all of the pictures were taken by Will Charlton Photography so give him a follow on Instagram if you like them. Like this video if you want, you can press the like button, you can press the subscribe button and you can press the bell button which rings my bell. And leave a comment but don't be a dick. Don't. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Meow! <gasps> Say hi to the people. <laughs>